Okay. I wonder if this is a contradiction. Usual self, but you didn't see her often. That's something I'd raise. Um. Hmm. I don't think so. There's nothing new there. Hmm. Or I don't think so. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Hey, what happens if I knock for Emma then? A few more questions, if you don't mind. Oh, that's just getting her uh, particular. Okay. Okay. Uh, exit. Be back later on, if that's okay. Uh, so that you can talk to one in particular. I see. Uh, let's go to the woods then. Oh dear. I think we want to. Well, let's try going to the right first, down here. Okay, there's nothing here at the moment. Into the woods. To the jetty. So this is where the body was found. Looks like a piece of jewellery there, stuck between the boards. Well, I'm truly wedged in. Ooh, can we use the screwdriver here to pry it out? Uh, we can. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Obviously. Well. Let's go back to them and ask about it. I know it's kind of a bit weird. It's kind of gamey. This you probably should. We probably should have gone there first, actually. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Ask about the pendant. Recognise this at all? It does remind me of something. I don't know. I've seen it somewhere, but I... no, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, vaguely recognizes. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Ever seen this? Looks like, uh... That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage. But the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer. Mm, not so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. Gave it to Kate. Didn't see her often. That's not a contradiction. Well, not really. We've got this. Alex James, London, Paris, New York. Not sure I want to ask. Thank you. Probably be back later. Hmm. Don't see the point in talking to Simon about the card. Let's meander up to Atlas, I think. I don't want to just jump ahead in case there's something to... Hello. In oh, right, the clearing. In case there's somewhere we can find things. Head up to Atlas. Just lean into the ground and go in, if we can. I have to come back later, I think. Okay. Let's go back. I do like the fact that it's not... Each place is not different, but... You can tell you're coming from a different direction. Hmm. Alright, well... 
Paul Ryan Rand live down there, do they? And we need to talk to the people at the um, farm as well, don't we? Talk to James. Oh, I can't do anything here. Okay. So we'll head up to... Let's go to the pub. We always know that uh, bartenders have the information. Or not. Huh. Okay. Well, the only other place we've got is here. I think. Okay. So I think we're just kind of looking around for anything we can find now. Which is the... Oh, no, 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 there was a, there was a thing, there was a thing, there was a thing. There we go. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. Okay, that's a key to something. Well, we were, we needed, well, it was locked up at uh, Atlas, wasn't it? Not breaking and entering, because we're not breaking anything. It's trespassing. There's no use for the silver key here, sorry. Uh oh. Ha, huh. okay. Uh, things don't ask Simon about Simon. Uh, really? Let's sit back here then. Pardon not. Huh. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Nothing already asked. Well, he told me about it. Oh, then oh, I meant to ask this, am I? You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking. In college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college uh, is all about. Ah, I see. Hang on. You were at college, but you only known it for three months. Aha. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialize with her at college? No. And you didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all. Um. No, no, <laughs> no, not at all. Ooh. Oh, we just got a so bump. Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. Hmm. Okay. Let's look around the back first, I think. Oh, I thought that was about to, about to transition to a thing. Broken window. Recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Oh, hello. Okay, so that's a new question. I'm annoyed by the subtitles, they're not popping up all the time. Hmm. Padlock door, eh? You mean like this? I'm sure this is all part of police procedure. Cat. Looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Oh, I thought a cat was going to jump out of this or something. 
I mean, look at the stuff up front first. That would have made more sense. I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's? Or Ryan's? That's rather ominous. Let's get out of here before we're spotted. And we'll now go back. Now we'll go into the pub proper. <laughs> Let's have a look in the restaurant. Okay. Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. You didn't look happy to see us. What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? <laughs> yes. Yes, it was striking news. <laughs> You're married to Ryan, <coughs> one of the Atlas leaders, yes? I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. Okay, well, ask about the death in general and work through that, I think. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. You could tell she had problems. When was the last time you saw her? Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. £20? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walk out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. Okay. I just got the driving licence. In particular, this bit of tape. Because that was what was being used for the broken uh, window. Have you seen this before? <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea. Uh, she came in. Mm. Student comes in. You haven't seen a driving license. Are you? Are you just letting her get away with possibly drinking underage? I can ask about the homebrew. See how she feels about it. Now let's stick with the pub window. That's connected with the tape. How did the window get broken out round the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. I'm quite strict when it comes to boring clients. I don't think are um, suitable. Was Kate suitable? Okay. That's more a connected thought, more than anything. Would explain. It's a bit much for a glass, but. Um. Hmm. Um. Doesn't know. Yes. Aha. There we go. So, you said Kate gave you £20 for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. 
Could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Hmm. Not realising Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. But why would she lie about that? Yes. Uh, let's ask about this card. Do you recognise this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. Hmm. But, but well, is that a no? Okay. I don't think she would have focused on it too much. Uh. Let's go out the homebrew. Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. Okay, um, and then we'll ask about the cardboard mask, a cardboard mask before we get thrown out. Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. Go on. Well, masks allow you to play it being someone different for a while. So just the internet. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student. I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. 